Hi, this is Greg Abston from the Laser Training Institute of Professional Medical Education Association. Welcome to our short video series on medical laser training. In today's lab video, we're going to look uh, at using a CO2 laser to very superficially um, kind of zip vaporize the surface away, like you might um, on the surface of the skin. Uh, now as a prerequisite to this, you should have viewed the other video on setting your spot size to match the power of the laser that you have set. So that's the first step. Well, the second step here is how to cleanly vaporize uh, a broader surface. The individual warts, for instance, if this were the application, um, would be vaporized probably using high power and a pulsing technique. But what about all the skin in between? How do you, how do you cleanly and quickly uh, vaporize that while maintaining control of the laser? Well, I'm going to show you how here on an apple. Um, we're going to break away and I'm going to zoom in close with the video so you can see how this works a bit. Here I have the power set on 55 watts continuous wave um, and I'm going to have it set with continuous on the foot pedal as well. The laser is now in ready um, and I can vaporize the apple okay here um, choosing the correct spot but I want you to see my problem is how to control this because the power is up so high. All right, you can see what the issue here is. I'm trying to control it, but I have to move my hand so fast um, that it becomes extremely, I have to move my hand so fast that I tend to lose control over the beam. I've got to find a way to control that. Now, of course, I could turn the power down, but that's not the best option as we saw in the previous videos. So let's look and see what we can do to this apple to control this a bit better. What I've done here on this apple is to outline the area where I want to work with wet towels or in the clinic use uh, just very uh, wet soaked sponges. At this point that gives me the freedom to move my hand quickly still using the correct spot size but I don't have to worry about where I start and stop. So take a look at this and see what the difference is in control. I'm going to start the laser out on the side so I'm not on the tissue itself. Okay, that gave me control uh, over my hand and uh, you notice I also uh, went in two diff different directions to make it more uniform. So let's take a look at that and see what that actually does to the surface. First of all, it very well controls my edges, but let's scrape some of this off and this would happen with a, a wet sponge too. You just wipe right over it. That is a very clean and a very superficial vaporization at the highest power setting. Now, I know you can't feel this through the video, of course, but if I put my hand and I go over this, there are no ridges and furrows nor pits. It is all very, very smooth when you do this. Now, that's with continuous wave power at 55 watts. We can make it even cleaner than that. We can go to a pulsing mode. This particular laser has an ultra pulse on it. Some lasers have um, something similar called a super pulse. But let's try that again and see what happens. Okay, this time I have the laser set in its ultra pulse mode, 500 millijoules uh, per pulse, which is quite a bit, at 100 pulses per second resulting in an average power of 50 watts, so still fairly high, but remember it's the uh, energy per pulse or energy in millijoules that's actually doing the job. So let's do this again. I'm going to start on the outside and we'll zip strip it. Let's go the other way. All right, let's see what we did this time. And I did it right beside the first one with continuous wave power. Okay. 
Okay, you can see that both of those give us a very clean and a very superficial vaporization. I didn't even get all the way through the skin of the apple in some of these places. So that's how you control a laser to uh, cleanly and smoothly vaporize a larger area while still maintaining control. The solution is not to turn the power down and go slow. You burn things that way. The solution is to turn the power up or the energy up um, and then use the correct spot size so that you don't perforate and then protect the edges of it and that gives you a really clean vaporization that heals well as well. Okay, now you know how to peel apples very cleanly in a high-tech fashion with a CO2 laser. So this is Greg from the Laser Lab saying goodbye and we'll see you with the next one.